these are very effective at removing, uh, in particular, the hard fouling material. They're also very good at cleaning the uh, hinge area. Now, this position that Dave's taking at the moment is not altogether ideal, but uh, as you can see, he's using this position purely for demonstration. But in the normal work environment, this chipping is actually done in the centre of the boat. In fact, at the end of that shell cleaning machine, an example of our shell cleaning boat is the sheer water out there, so if you could just sort of visualise that shell cleaning machine and the shell chipper standing at the end of that. Not over the side rail. These shell chippers are working at a very quick um, pace. They're cleaning between three and five thousand oysters in a day. And, well, Dave, mind you, takes only half a day to clean his oysters. Now, um, as you could well imagine, um, Chipping away at a fast speed, there is a tendency at times to accidentally hit your thumb or finger. And uh, in this situation with the oyster shell over the edge of the rail, uh, you could very well drop that oyster into the water. And I can assure you with three saltwater crocodiles in Willie Creek, um, shell chippers aren't going to be too keen about going over the edge to retrieve that oyster. So it's most important that this be done in the centre of the boat. Now, as you can see, Dave's done an excellent job here in uh, terms of uh, removing that fouling material. Thanks, Dave. This uh, oyster is considerably cleaner. You can now see the hinge area. This oyster will actually be able to sit very comfortably and with the greatest of ease in its own individual pocket. It will have no difficulty whatsoever in opening its lips. But, of course, the responsibility is with us in terms of maintaining that high standard. During the cooler months of the year, May, June, July, temperatures amazingly drop down to 18 